Arirang Radio. We've all done it before, sat there and asked ourselves or someone around us, yo, what if? So we get a full hour of everybody's perspective on the what if of the day with our dynamic duo. <laughs> we have Joel and Dean in the studio. What's up, guys? Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Okay, I have a question. What's Where's up? Joel? Uh, here we go again. <laughs> Where is he? Where is it? Uh, when this? I came here for that to sing my song, my, my single that one time, they were like, who are you? And I was like, hello, hello, this is me, hello. But yes, I have No, a... but I get the same treatment whenever I go to the salon too, oh, yeah. so it's fine. No, I, I, I rather like you it. Just, I, I, excuse you me, look... at least I do makeup every day and I still get that treatment. So <laughs> salon status, hair and makeup in Korea is uh-huh. a whole nother level. So it's a compliment regardless. It... Where are you going? So looking so fabulous today, son. Well, I have a fitting for Fashion Week, which I am walking this weekend on the runway. Oh, it's already this weekend? Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then I have a, the other thing that I have to shoot for a YouTube channel that I've been on a lot lately. It's kind of a bigger thing. That's why like, I'm you know, looking all fabuloso. Mm. You know. Better look fabuloso for that price, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you look too good. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, uh, oh, you look really good today. Could you see my... my, my, my uh, my I, the way I carry myself is different. Uh, today. I'm a little bit more posh. Well, you know, and, you know, the funny thing is, is like, uh, it. I know a lot of people don't think so. Like, we try to. Uh, you know talk down fashion and stuff like that but mm-hmm. it, it's not about brands in my personal mm-hmm. opinion i feel that how you put yourself together definitely does add an additional like step of confidence oh, or like of a, yeah. put a little bit of oomph in uh-huh. your step you know what i mean like if you get yeah. a haircut like even guys too like you got your hair did you know it's freshly shaved like you feel good For right guys, it's all about hair yeah right? Not really, <laughs> not for me. I, I'll get my cut my hair and I put a hat right back on. The only reason I, I don't I put I get my hair cut is because it's getting too long and out of control. That's the only reason. I'm the, but oh. even if you go to like you know the salon and get your hair and t- uh-huh. makeup done, you feel good, oh, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah, I feel good right now. Yeah, don't get it twisted now. Yeah, <laughs> it, it makes you feel good, and I think that's uh, if anything. Uh, if I were to put any investment into clothes and hair and makeup, mm-hmm. it would be for that reason. Mm. Right. I'm definitely not a person who likes name brands because mm-hmm. I am not going to spend $500 just for a t-shirt. Right. That's, that's right. ridiculous. Right. Honestly. I don't know how these brands do it. But anyways, uh, but other than that, like, you know, if it's like a suit or, you know, mm-hmm. if it's tailored, there's a lot of hand sewing going into it. Then there's man hours. Right. Then I wouldn't mind spending, a, you know, a couple hundred, couple thousand dollars on something like that. But that's because Isak knows just how hard it is to do yeah. that. <laughs> that's, my ne- that's the next on my bucket list to uh-huh. learn how to tailor. You know what, though? That could that could be very lucrative if you're like, you know, if you're very good at it and you have your own store and stuff. I really want to learn how to tailor, though. It's I, like it's, one thing. You want to learn? I, I know how to sew. So I recently learned how to sew. Oh, oh I made this. Is it recent? Oh, you made that? Yeah, it's an old no one. Way. The, the poo thing? Yeah, this is old. Oh. Yeah, this is my, I thought you my, bought that. I like that. No, my, this vest is old. This is oh. one of my like first big projects oh, really? that I did. Yeah. I feel like it's been a long time since yeah, you started I, like, sewing, yeah. right? Yeah. About six years now. Oh. But yeah, I made this uh, vest and I put the embroidery in it too. <gasps> and it's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, because it's, it's Winnie the Pooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. My, my sewing machine is Disney themed. Oh, is it? Yeah, and it was. A, it's an embroidery machine, but it's not mm-hmm. a big one, so mm-hmm. I don't. I, I don't get a chance to have like the big uh, cast like pamphlets right, that right, I can right. use, like the outlines. But anyways, uh, yeah, I made this. Uh, I know how to sew, but even one thing that my sewing teacher could not teach me was, uh, she was supposed to go to college for two more years to get the tailoring mm-hmm. um, degree, but she didn't get a chance to finish, mm-hmm. and so like that's like my one bucket list thing to mm-hmm. like because there's a lot of hand sewing going into tailoring it's very different than just sewing mm-hmm. like how you get measurements for tailoring right. is very different too how you're supposed to uh treat the wools and stuff like that in there as well how you're supposed to like treat the the collars and how they're supposed to be done buttons are made like a certain way so yeah uh i that's like next on my bucket list but you know i sometimes i have to get like my pants or something tailored right to like fit me exactly the right, same, right 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 and every time I, I have seen it with my own eyes them do it before and i'm like when i look at pants how do they do that like i'm like how did they make it smaller like it doesn't make any sense uh, how is that possible like it's really insane how they do that i don't know i wish sometimes I it's as simple as just taking a little bit of it in the back like the mm-hmm. waistline like 
taking the seam allowance in a little bit. Do they cut material out? Sometimes, or uh, depending on the customer, if they know that the customer's weight fluctuates a lot, they might just pin it uh, in place and okay. then kind of resew it in. Mm-hmm. Or you might have to get the it, entire thing restructured. And so sometimes what they do is they will take like both sides apart of the like just, the side seams right. and they'll like make the adjustments there. And they'll just like com- basically completely redo the whole Right, thing. right. They'll reconstructure wow. the oh the whole entire. Oh those God. little details. They, right, they right, really right. Make well, that's why right? suits are expensive. Yeah. Like, you know, those really mm-hmm. high end suits right. and like tailors and stuff like that. The reason why they pay really high end is if the fabric is pretty much all similar. Like, of course, they're going to have their like good silks or you know right, wools right. or stuff like that they're going to have their own you know direct uh, uh partnership with whatever fabrics that they're bringing in. so yeah they're bringing in high quality but it's not just that they're paying for the craftsmanship behind it we're we're gonna need you to get your tailoring thing so i can <laughs> stop paying the susan people to do it for me because <laughs> it's expensive me, really. <laughs> i might be asking you for like bottles of alcohol that are more expensive oh hello as hey, payment listen, for this bottle of alcohol i expect <laughs> 10 so pants to be tailored i don't own a suit right oh. really I, I don't really I really don't <gasps> I never had a chance to buy a, like set suits mm-hmm. right but if I get a chance to really it's not that I can afford it but if I get a chance to buy one mm-hmm. maybe I should ask no not me you. not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet I give it a couple four, years give it a couple years <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, not that, I'm definitely not at that level yet because the amount of craftsmanship that goes into suits yeah, is completely no. different mm-hmm. and the undergarment part is a lot more intense than I expected mm-hmm. apparently like uh, you're supposed to do a lot of hand stitching to the front palette mm-hmm. of the jackets uh and also to the shoulder line i i don't even know the technical ends of that yet so I, yeah i mean i can sew you guys something very simple like a bucket hat or something a like pajamas? that pajamas make like little md together <laughs> md what merch merch merch, merch oh merch ah oh. oh my god but k-pop and merch i had yeah. k-pop and merch because uh really? one of our producers asked me to do some k-pop and merch that ended up becoming really hard to do like oh, oh you simply, mean like to sew yeah, so oh. something for our listeners. It was actually mm-hmm. a little bit harder than I expected. Oh, wow. How was your birthday? It was great. Thanks to you guys. It was <laughs> oh, oh, that's it was right. amazing. <laughs> we had an Did early birthday. Enjoy- Saturday was his birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy your cake? I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, oh really? I, so it wasn't just pretty. It actually, oh. It was delicious. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> <appetizing>, <laughs> very appetizing. Very appetizing. Pini knows her way around a birthday. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of cakes in Korea, mm-hmm. well, even in the States, like mm-hmm. they're pretty, but they're not good. Oh, yeah. Like, they're you like can't, they don't taste. Oh, with, uh, yeah, you know but, what I mean? Okay, so I'm glad it's it was super oh. dry and like the, the cream is all like, yeah, mm. you know, mm. it doesn't taste really good. But it was it was good. But that one that was that was great. Okay, that was amazing. Pinyin holds you so much. no Pinyin bars holds when she down. does birthdays. Mm, <laughs> she does. All right. Well, today I think our uh, topic. I think maybe our topic was inspired by Joel because I fe- I have a feeling that really? Takanim probably like just was peeking at his social media account ah. to to give this because you posted about your quote unquote acting debut. Yeah, I'm only in it for like. Five I, minutes, but <laughs> it was a tanyok that I did, like, or what do you call that? A small, minor supporting role um, for this, like, short form drama, which are all the rage now, apparently. Mm. Um, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. It's on, like, this app, and I don't have enough credits to get to that episode yet, so I want to buy them. So I'm wait. I'm, I'm, every day I get, like, however many free views, and there's, like, a million episodes, so I'm just slowly going through there mm. just until I come out. Okay. You know, and, yeah. So uh, kind of uh, inspired by Joel's post that he posted online, we're going to be looking at if you were. So what if you were the lead in a drama? What mm-hmm, kind of role wow. would you play? Now, I feel like it would be easier for me to choose what role I wouldn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? An English teacher. <laughs> oh my God. I played an English teacher on a sitcom before and he's teasing me. Wait, I did last turn, week too. Turn the camera and the mic off for a second because I think I have to have a word with Joel. Hey, I would what, play what, an English teacher. What honestly. was the name of the series? Oh, ask her. Don't ask me. <laughs> now, now I am definitely gonna, looking for Oh, it. you asking me? But now you're not going to say anything. I don't know the name of it. Isa. Yes, you do. Oh my God. I know I'm what I'm going to binge watch. Tonight. I was, okay, so I was on a sitcom. <laughs> Here we go. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to get like this. Uh, oh, I'm not ashamed of the series, <laughs> but I was on a sitcom that I was kicked off like after I think 10 oh. episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this is the reason. It was because my Korean was too good. 
So oh, I, I don't mind the reason why. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wasn't. I don't mind the fact that I was kicked off, but uh, and the ratings were not as good as they expected, mm. and they already were paying two of the girls generation members a pretty lump sum of money mm. to be like you know in the series so i was just kind of like the natural mm-hmm. uh financial cut uh, to oh. take out because there was already a really big story following the girls mm-hmm. um yudi and Sion were in it oh wow. and so they there was already a really big story kind of growing with that age group of the cast and so i was the easiest one to kick out mm. but yeah um it was called i think there was a movie a long time ago with that name wasn't there i think so but yeah the, it was a sitcom oh um and uh it was fun it, i had i had a blast doing it uh but yeah he likes to tease me about it that's what the <laughs> whole thing was about but yeah. sorry isa no it's fine it's cool <laughs> you can tease me about no, whatever it's funny because i was supposed to be an english teacher but like rarely any of my scenes are me <laughs> teaching <laughs> was it what wasn't was though kim sumi in that yeah yeah i remember that i love her she She's awesome. uh the whole thing i took away from that entire series <laughs> being on it was i got complimented from her oh there's nothing better i would i would faint yeah, she complimented me and I was so happy. <laughs> so what happened was is there was a scene where I kind of go neck and neck with her. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm su- I'm supposed to be able to speak pretty good Korean, like even though I'm an English teacher. And so she went off script and I knew she went off script, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't back down. Didn't uh-huh. And I, I kept going and kept feeding her more lines like within it. And oh. so they, the director finally went cut, and she was like, "Yeah, that's hard on that." I was like, oh, <laughs> "My head would explode. You. I wouldn't know how to go toe to toe with Kim Sumi. Are you kidding me?" Yokshiri tak sombenyu. So, with you two and with our K-pop uh-huh. and fam, if you guys were to be the lead in a drama, what would be kind of like your most coveted part? I want to be a villain, but like a really bad, like you know, in Korea, if I'm going to be in a Korean film, I'm going to be in like Yogogetam. Ooh. Like the any of the like the ghost series, and I want to be the ghost because I think I can do a really you know how Korean horror movies have a, a like they love to have the camera zoom in on the ghost and like they just stare the camera down uh-huh. like that death stare. Mm-hmm. I think I can do that pretty well. So I, I want to maybe if I could do that, I want to do that. Um, or you know. The capital B character. Mm, like a all- Regina George kind of? No? Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Just the really capital B capital over B. there. <laughs> Just I would, let it out. Emphasis would, on the B. Right. <laughs> uh, I would totally love to be one of those. Mm. I totally agree. But for a different reason, though. I think if I get a chance to play a character, I think I would really want to play something that's opposite of me. Oh. You know, that's why I kind of want to play a villain. Okay. Mm. No, I think you would be, I think he would be like, I could totally picture him like as a villain of like, so if we have like Batman, right? Like in Gotham City, Mm -hmm. he's like the really powerful CEO, but he's like on top of like all of the things that he rules is very corrupt, but Mm -hmm. he's got like a killer smile. (laughs) He's like the smart dude with the glasses, like killer suit sitting at like on top of his throne, but like he's trying to kill Batman. You know what I mean? Like I could totally picture him doing that. Like heroes would be thinking like, oh, I'm totally out mining this guy, but really, really, no. I am the one who's (laughs) out mining you guys. I would want to see you be like a Korean gangster. I don't know why I could see you doing it. Like, it's so. I, f- I feel that he you know would be I mean? like a very poised, like mm-hmm. the ones that this the calm gangsters, the ones mm-hmm. that you know, like you never oh. see them coming. Yeah, a oh. type. You know what I mean? Like a very quiet type, but then they always end up pulling like the biggest blow. Oh, right. yeah. Like yeah. you're the big boss, and you're like sing- <laughs> hanging out at like you know like Bodybang or something, and your your henchmen walk in, they're like, "This is new," and you're like. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you 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 do appear in the series, but like your face is kind of like all shady. Yeah. Right, you don't right, really right, see, right. You don't even see the face. Right, right, and right, you're right. really there. At the end of the series, you fight the protagonist on like a boat or some really, really <laughs> weird location. Like fist fight. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Because right. all of those wits come down to <laughs> That's right. That's because right. Because you're not going to use a, a bomb. You're not going to use technology. Uh-huh. You're not going to be, you know, Kingsman. You're <laughs> <laughs> I never understood why they do that. Like you could easily, you know, get rid of the protagonist, but then you want to fist fight him on like a ship or something. I'm like, <laughs> why? You have, to la- you have to make it laugh. I mean, I guess. You have but... to make it laugh. 
surprise. Oh, my God. Okay, Joel, what do you want to play? Well, uh, I have a few that I would really like to play. I would like to play a very angsty edgelord. I would love to do that. Kind of like, you know, like a... I don't know, like a cyber hacker that's like, you know what I mean? Something like that. Uh, I would also like you guys want to play um, someone like a, like a, like a, like a big baddie, mm. like a big bad, like a bad guy. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Might not seem like my real personality, but I can pull it off, I think. And then I also want to do one where I'm like really emotional, like, oh. like crying and you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I would love that. Do you think you could cry on cue? No, I can. After I've had a few. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you can really like cry in tears. I mean, I I, I missed. It depends. I, I might have to like turn on like a sad video or something. Mm. Oh. Well, no, I think I could if I really tried. I've never done it, but I mean, can you guys? No, I, I, I really, I I cannot do that. Like I don't really cry like normally anyway. Like unless there's like a really big thing happening, I don't cry. But that, that's why I get really surprised when I see someone like manually like create tears in mm-hmm. their eyes. I used to think uh, just to think of something really sad, but then I tried that before. I was like, that doesn't work. But I feel I feel like I can make it work somehow if I had to. Mm. I don't know. Have you? Can you? Can you cry on command? I used to be able to. Uh-huh. Haven't practiced it in a while, but I used to be able to. Uh, and wow. I can do two ways. So I can do the method way, which like the method acting way where you're supposed to like bring in your past experiences or whatnot, or. There is some technical ways to do it. I just haven't practiced in so long, so I don't know if I'll still be able to do it. Mm-hmm. I have fake cried though. I was doing this interview once. Uh, no, I. I was, I was doing so that this interview wasn't real. No, I was doing this interview. <laughs> So I was doing this interview once. Uh, It was actually done by a really good friend of mine. So uh, she was hosting a show and she was like, so could you be on my show? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then like halfway through the taping, uh, she got a like a message from uh, in her earpiece from the producer who was sitting upstairs. And they apparently wanted me to sound a little bit more emotional about like my life story. Mm hmm. (laughs) And so uh, there was so the next couple of questions were supposed to be like about my trainee life and you know stuff like that and so I was like okay <laughs> so on cue I started I didn't like full on like cry cry but I started deliberately getting really choked up. Wow, you've got so many talents. No, not it's well. Crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to do it now, but yeah. I'm more or less concerned that I've never seen this interview. I feel like I would have <laughs> because I was such a fan. <laughs> What's going on? What is this interview you're talking about? I've never seen this. <laughs> I don't even know where it was here. Uh, but I'll try to give you the details later. The skit for today is pretty cool. Uh, mm-hmm. I was contemplating if i should play a male character but i don't know what do you guys think should i just stay a girl or should, joel what do you want me to be do you want me to be a male director or do you want me to be a female there can director? be female directors Let's oh no i know it. there is oh I uh, oh no go ahead i don't know no the first twilight movie was a bad one because it was a female director wait Okay. I didn't know that was it who, oh no a lot of the book fans are really openly mm-hmm. vocal about it okay and, and and i've never seen twilight but I, I think I saw like 10 minutes on a plane once. It wasn't my cup of tea. But I mean, anyways, uh, right. mm-hmm. <laughs> we're going to. OK, so we're going to jump into our skip for today. It's actually a pretty fun story. I, I can't wait for a day to mm. come out. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. Music cue. All right, attention crew. I know I've said this repeatedly since we started this, but I've poured my heart and soul into this new project. I trust everyone is ready to bring their best performances. I'm ready to give the best acting of my life. Okay, that's all I'm asking for. But, uh, Joel, how's the leg? Are you sure you're cleared for filming? Oh, no, no, no worries. My actor will be ready the moment you call action. He's gotten the rehab hours in and... It's all clear. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to his 100%. We have a group read through later, so I'll talk to you guys then. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, are you sure I'm clear? Didn't my doctor say no action scenes? I really want to do this film, but... I know this film is big for you, so let me do the talking with the director. We'll rehab as much as we can till shooting starts and work on shots too. Well, not just me, but it seems like you have been hitting the gym a lot. You planning on leaving me to get ready for the Olympics? Me? Uh, no, no, never. Only a little taekwondo, judo, and others for a hobby. Oh, it's almost time for the reading. Oh man, what am I supposed to do now? Joel is going to be so devastated. (sighs) We're here! Where shall I sit? Uh, you don't look so good. Is something wrong? Um, it's, uh, well, it's... (sighs) 
I mean, again, it's something wrong. Are you are you sick? No, 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 no. I no, I I I just that Joel. Well, I. What? The female leader would rather work with my manager Dane. That's for me. <laughs> Their only way to stay on the film is if if he mm. takes my role. Okay, look, Joel, my hands are tied. I, I'm not sure if you know, but our female leads label is the one that's funding this, and I don't have much say in the matter. She apparently saw Dane at the gym and knew she wanted him as a partner. He's my manager. This is insane. Do you think he can do my this role? Well, I I'm going to have to audition you, but I are you willing? Me? Act? I didn't have interest in it at school, but, but I never... Well, I mean, that's a good thing. There is a lot of action and less lines in the role, and it looks like the main label is planning on signing you as new talent anyway, so they can just represent you. Tane, you can't seriously be thinking about this. You've signed with me, and and and. Uh, Hyung, honestly, it's actually been my dream to act since I could remember. I just never thought I could, and I took the next best job, which was uh, being a manager. I really want to try this if they're giving me the chance to. You've already made your decision. Why ask me? You know what? Have a great life because I'm out. I didn't fly from London for this. Give me my keys. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Estamos escuchando Arirang Radio desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. Where are you listening from? Let us know. Leave it at arirangradio.com. We had Sammy with Twin Gong Heroin on the track, which was Joel's request. Yes. I mean, aside from the, the obvious, obvious. Twin Gong, which is the main character in Korean, uh, the song is... The first thing that came off my mind was Nayana by 101, but I was like, that's too stereotypical. Like, I gotta do something else. <laughs> you know, not that I don't like the song. I do, but I was like, no, it's we got to do song. something different. And I love Sammy. And I, we were just talking over the break. I was like, every single song that she puts out is a bop let's be honest like they're all really 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 good mm. and i was like you know what it's like a timeless song for me all of her music honestly. Mm. So, right. big sunby fan here uh it feels like for the skit aaron was just like joel sounded like a washed up actor no wonder the female <laughs> we didn't want to act with him yeah i was like uh <laughs> <laughs> so aaron wants to be a con he feels that he can be a convincing demon Okay. Uh, mm. And then Hannah says, I feel like being a spy would be interesting. Oh, yeah. Ooh. No one would expect so any of the three of us to be spies. That was actually one of my childhood dreams. To be a spy? Yeah. It's a That's dangerous, so cool. It's a dangerous job. That's assassin. So cool. Assassin. Like spy, assassin. Like That's something so cool. really cool, yeah. You know, this is kind of, I wish I was good with numbers uh -huh. and like encoding and stuff. I would love to be a hacker. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. I, I would love hacker. to be really like good at electronics because I'm really bad like, at Like Like there are different types though, like white hacker and black hacker, you know, there are different types. What kind of hacker do you want to be? Asian, I see. Asian hacker? <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, oh, is there like a? <laughs> there's a there's a, like a line they people that people draw ah, so like like okay. legal side and li illegal side. No, I'm not talking about race. No. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dave, there's a Please. reason why you're in the middle. <laughs> there's okay. a reason why you're in the middle. No, I, no. I understood. I understood why that was, and that was just my mind is it. Listen, I've been watching the news a lot. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually a term like oh, people okay. use white 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 hacker white hacker. Okay, They're like a uh, regular like. <laughs> Evil black. Okay, so for nefarious so means, like, yeah, right. colors. The dark, okay. So the dark yeah. net. Are you? Okay. We're going to the dark web. Or are we going to be doing more legal uh, stuff? Okay, okay. I don't care as long as I have act. I don't know. I just I would love to learn how to do more computer stuff. Like you know, to be a little mm. bit more smart. Like in any cool spy film, we always mm. have the hacker. I just always thought that those were so cool. You know what? This is like also me being completely unhinged. <laughs> but whenever people leave hate comments on me, and it, and people do. I'm like, if I was a hacker, <laughs> I would dox them so hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? I w listen. I would never do that, of course, because uh, I don't know how. But um, like you know, sometimes like I get so angry that uh, I'm, like, I'm like, oh man, I wish I could find this person's IP and just like <laughs> like break so the computer revenge. or something. <laughs> Hannah was saying, I get it though because I feel so dumb with learning coding. Exactly. So I just uh, when because mm. I'm so old. When we started learning how to do like computer stuff, we mm. actually learned how to encode stuff. And and stuff yeah. like that because when we were when cds were given to us back then we actually had to 
input stuff mm-hmm. to get the cd to load to the computer so yeah. i did i'm that old yes <laughs> that 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 had to be learned uh now it does it for you our phones yeah. do it for us too but yeah so i mean I wish that I would have been bitten by like a a computer bug then Mm -hmm. and like kind of stuck with it as like Mm -hmm. a side hobby. But numbers is no bueno. Yeah, no, me too. I'm bad with anything like that. It's to the point where, Tane, if you start giving me like a phone number and Mm -hmm. you just start throwing numbers at me, I'm just like, yo, yo, whoa, whoa, hold on, wait, what? I always tell them to tell me four digits at a time. Don't tell me the whole thing. Don't say gong year gong blah 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 blah. Um, say the first four and then the last four separately. <laughs> yeah, I if somebody starts racking numbers at me all mm-hmm. of a sudden, I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> I, I can't register it. Oh, oh my god. I thought I was the only one. No, over the phone, especially like when I have to talk to someone for something like, you know, like a insurance company. Oh, right, or something, right, 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 right. I ha- I have to have them repeat it like quite a few times because I can't I can't I can't remember them for the life of me. Even in English, I can't remember. No, it. it's it's not a yeah. language barrier. It's just about simply numbers. Mm, like right. uh, you know how when I was in junior high, one of our math teachers, he would put up speed math. For us mm-hmm. so he would just give us like a bunch of numbers with a bunch of like signs in between and it was a speed test mm-hmm. so we were tr- we had to do everything in our head mm-hmm. even looking at it i couldn't register it i was <laughs> like what I would... and i thought i was the only one but i've noticed no. that this is like a thing yeah. for people like certain people just can't register it quickly anyways for those of you just <laughs> tuning in Side tangent, sorry. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> if you again. were a uh, lead in a drama, what kind of character would you like to play or who would you like to play? Honestly, if you wanted to not be not the actor, if you just want to be the director, you can tell us that too. If you want to be the director or the I writer. I be a right. director though. I need attention That's just way too, too much. That's too much work for me. Yeah. I, there's no way. Well, I think I feel like you could be a good director, honestly. Yeah. I, I think I can be a good assistant director. I think it could be a good AD. Like just throwing great ideas? Uh, yeah, like ideas and orders. Mm-hmm. Like I think I can be somebody who can manage as a set, but mm-hmm. I've my personality cannot draw something out uh, from scratch. Oh. So I used to try to learn how to like make music. Mm-hmm. And what I can, I'm more of like an A&R person when it comes to music too. Mm-hmm. So like, if Tane was making music and I'm listening to him like work on a song, then I can be like, yo, Dane, I think like if you would add a guitar riff here, that that mm. would sound really nice. Like I can give my feedback to somebody, but I can't go from like, scratch. You can't do the MIDI's mm. and all right. that. I, I just, I can't go from scratch. Yeah, like yeah. if you just, if you don't give me a guideline of what I need to be doing, I don't know what I need to be doing. Like I can't just sit there mm-hmm. and create something from nothing. Right. If you give me keywords, guidelines, don't do this, do this. Mm-hmm. Like if I have barriers, then I can do it. You're not really a uh, creator of something. Right, you right. are a supervisor maybe. More, yeah. yeah more so like I feel like I would be a great AD. So if mm-hmm. the director needs something, needs on set, needs the actress to do this, do that, do that, run around, scream at people, I can do that. Um, uh, yeah, and then I, I can give my feedback mm-hmm. uh, to like the director or whatnot or the, you know, to, to kind of help get things going right. but to to draw out screen like shot for shot what kind of film i want to make what angles what uh what you know what color like directors are doing that you know they're mm. they're writing out like what they want to do right. screen for screen i wouldn't be able to but like being able to like provide a useful great feedback that's also a talent ah, you, you, that requires oh, no. a talent no, but i just i wouldn't be able to like no. That's why I love PDM because I would never be able to do. Mm-hmm. P- I would never. I need <laughs> like I'm the type of person also like I don't know if this applies to you, but like I can't be like a boss. I don't want to be in control of other people. Mm. I like someone to tell, give me rough guidelines of what I need to do, and then I can figure it out from there. That, I'm not gonna. But that. that's mm. why I don't do anything outside of like the show regarded to like YouTube or uh-huh. influencing or anything mm-hmm. like that because, like I said, I don't like doing stuff from scratch. Mm. Uh, that's why I work better here. Give me ideas. Tell me to talk about something. Uh-huh. Tell me to regulate people. I'm fine. See, that's the thing. So, like, on this radio show, right, K-pop in, if they're like, today we're going to talk about this. That's all, like, people like you or me, I think, would need. Like, we're talking about, you know, water bottles mm. today. That's all I need to hear. Mm. And from there, I can just take it and run. Mm. But, like, to come up with the idea of talking about this water bottle. And then regulate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. How long I'm going to talk about mm. it. You know, is it going to be perfect? So this week, it, that that kind of stuff is is not easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what surveys did you bring, Joel? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> we're on Tangent Central today. But, no, I love it. Um, so it's basically, like, what kind of dramas... 
uh, main character would you like to be? Basically the genre mm. that you would like to be the main character of. Um, and I got quite a few interesting ones here and I've already picked out my personal favorite. Now, the one that is overwhelmingly the largest at 42.7% is a romance mystery. Romance uh, mystery. You they don't really mean? go together that no, much. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, yeah. Tom Beckut was also a love romance mystery. Uh-huh. It's considered a romance mystery. They're adding a lot of those these days. Yeah. So they're in a lot of the Korean dramas these days, they're mm-hmm. giving us like a puzzle piece at the beginning of the drama mm-hmm. that we have to try to figure out throughout the drama. So it's a mm-hmm. little bit on the darker side. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I, I haven't seen too many of these because I stay away from the romance dra- genre. Pretty much. But uh, at 14.1%, we have a family drama. You know what mm. I mean? Like a, a family drama. Uh, I, I would say a lot of sitcoms are family mm. dramas, right, too. Right, right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I would love to do this one. 6.4, a crying snot drama. So, like, you know, where you're like, you know, cry, there's a lot of crying scenes, a lot of emotion mm. put into it. Um, at 11.4%, an office drama of struggling office workers. Me saying, me saying, me saying, me saying. I would not want to do this. Me saying, me saying, me saying. You know, I asked our K pop and fam from around the world, like, uh, if me saying was a proper portrayal of like actual white collar uh-huh. offices, and they're like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, is it that bad? And they're like, well, that was like nothing compared to my office. And yeah. I was like, oh, oh wow. I was like, gosh. the corporate world is really bad. Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> I would never. Um, 7.5, another one I wouldn't do, uh, medical drama. Oh, no. Because I wouldn't Great know one. what the heck anybody's talking about. Exactly. <laughs> I have so much respect for actors who do medical dramas uh-huh. in any aspect. So much medical terms. <laughs> I I am driven, but not that driven. Uh, like, okay, no way. Study that. Yeah, yeah you have to, it's like basically you have to like, be, learn yeah, what doctor. Right. Yeah, you have to learn it. Yeah, no way. Um, three point one percent is generational or life and death dramas. Uh, you know, I don't know what is that like Benjamin Button or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. At four point seven percent, we got a youth drama, Chung Chun drama. Mm. Uh, that would be I don't know. What is is, is is Reply 1988? Is that considered a Chun Chun uh, drama? The main song, isn't it? That's more like a nostalgia type mm-hmm. of drama, right? I would do maybe a like, like a school series. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hakko series, the Hakko series in Korea is yeah. considered Chun Chun oh, yeah, drama. Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. those. I would do that, except I'm 33. Sunset Kutio is a Chun Chun drama. <laughs> oh okay, 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 okay. Those, even though it's a romance, mm-hmm. that would also be considered a Chun Chun drama too. Right. Oh, I love those. Okay, and at three point eight percent, we got my favorite, but I could never do it in Korea. Probably uh, a historical drama. <laughs> I don't know what I'd be like. No, we could. What would if, we be? If uh, no, uh, War even if like no, like Mr. Sunshine type of dramas, That's like true. we could yeah. have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could. Yeah, you're right. Oh. But I would. I, yeah, listen, I would play anything. We would, we would not be able to be the Yang Buns or the <laughs> yeah. Korean yeah. side of aspects. But How many yeah. half Korean Yang Buns have you seen yeah. in the history books? But uh, no, I would love to do that. I because I, I've you know I Same. love history and I love like I've been on an old school Setejang before, mm. like a what do you call it, mm. like a Hyunjang or whatever. Mm. It's set, like set, like right? an old old school set. It's like for that moment. Aside from all the cameras and stuff, you're like teleported back in no. time, and it's like so weird. With all the weird. handbooks and everything, yeah, and it's like, oh, where, what is going on? Like, you know what I mean? I would love to just do that for like months and months on end. I think it would be awesome. It's really cold and really hot, though. I don't care. I'm like, look, our ancestors all live like this. We could do it. We'll pull through. <laughs> the history buff over there, uh-huh. Dane. What's your sign quest? I brought a survey. People. No, no, it's not a quest. I was starting. Dore, dore, dore. You're going to be doing so your re- sorry. Your I was, request. I You're was... going to do this coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I chose uh, Sunlight by Taeyeon Okay. Okay. I chose this one because uh, it's not really about being being a uh, chingong, like mm. protagonist of mm-hmm. a drama series, but I think its lyrics and the overall mood really resembles the moment you accomplish your dreams or something mm. like that. And I think... That really fits to the concept of of, of what we're know, talking about today. Yeah, yeah. If you were to be a protagonist of drama, you want. Okay. Maybe, yeah, it's it matches. You're making me look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was. It's called Juingo. <laughs> Yours is like stuff about well, your life. No, no. That's this artist perspective of him, and that's just you being a, an entertainer. We've got the Hyun and Dean on the track with Starlight, and we'll see you guys back after this with more of the show. You want to message me? Go A R I R A N G. Arirang Radio.com. 
All right, we're talking about if you were uh, to star or lead in or be in a drama or a part of a drama, what would you like to do? We pretty much all want to be the villain or the not so popular right. uh, ro- roles, which is great. Uh, so I did do this on purpose. I'm going to have Tane do his survey last. And the reason is because Tane, normally dur- during part three, we don't have a lot of time. Right. So you don't have to go through it like fully. Just mm-hmm. give us like the, oh, top, the top, three. top ones all if right, you want. Right. So what kind of survey is it? I brought a survey uh, on what character people want to be. Oh, there was the actually series, a survey right? <laughs> yeah, of it's, people. It's survey. Oh, okay. And the majority of people said they want to be, obviously, the protagonist, which was uh, 30.9%. 30.9%. That's a lot. Yeah, that's actually a lot. And the result is very closely followed by, uh, in fact, 19% of people said they want to be the cameo. Oh. Screen time will be short, but uh, very <laughs> impactful. Is, right, and you get you get paid for yeah, it too. Like, nah, yeah, <laughs> You're still yeah. getting paid. You're still getting, you're getting apparently. Too. Uh, there's the different types of cameos in Korea. Mm-hmm. Like if they say like in Korean, if they say like Ujong <laughs> Chudyeon, and then like uh, cameo, and like apparently whatever it says in Korean depends on if you actually got paid or not. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I oh. don't know exact. I don't know the exact oh. list, but apparently like. When they say like "tukbir churion, uzong churion," and then like "gamil," apparently like the they're different. The numbers behind that is different. "Tukbir well, churion" sounds like they get paid. I think I don't know. <laughs> okay, what else? And thir- for third place, sixteen percent of the people said uh, they want to play some sort of a savior of the protagonist. Oh, oh I would like. It's that. a type of a cameo, though. Uh, that would kind of be like a cameo too. Oh, like you show up in the bleak moment and save yeah. the day kind of thing. Uh, oh, I would love that. It would be like, oh, joy, oppa, mo, she's so. Oh my god, I can't imagine. <laughs> it would. It be. It would be like Satan in uh, Constantine. Oh, okay. he's, he's not like mm. out in the entire. Oh, like series. A, the Battle of Helm's Deep when Gandalf shows up at the top right, of the right, mountain. Right, okay, right, see, right. I like that. Right, okay. right, right. Uh-huh. Okay. And I love how I went to Constantine and you went for. <laughs> We're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Constantine? The, I know what that is, oh, but okay. I haven't seen it yet. That's mm-hmm. like one of my favorite movies. I I, I, I think I saw it a long time ago. Is it is that isn't that a like kind of religious kind of, kind of it's uh, it's uh, it's technically movie. a horror movie, but yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like between like heaven and hell, between you know God and like mm-hmm. the devil and stuff Hugatory. like that. Keanu Reeves is it. It's fine. We love Keanu, <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is it. We it's love fine. Keanu. Uh, <laughs> I really should watch that. Uh, I know that there's a few more. Is there any more? That we, what's number four? Okay, and here's a funny one. Oh, actually. there's a funny one. Okay. Uh, 4.4% of the people said they want to be on the dark side, just like us. Us, villains. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh. And be the evil mastermind. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be care. really fun to play, actually. I don't care if I die in the end of the movie. I don't mind oh, being no, a I don't villain. know. I want to be evil because I'm so good in real life. I want to be <laughs> evil in a movie, you know? <laughs> I want to. I want to do some action too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, I want to. I want to have like a like a sword, and, but I'll be uh, evil though, or shoot lightning on my finger, or something. Uh, Green uh, Goblin. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I like Villain it. in the Marvel movie. Uh-huh. Mm. Amazing. Oh, so we got a Marvel fan here. <laughs> I'm Star Wars. I was going straight for Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars in case you didn't get the reference. We got Star Wars <laughs> over here. I'm over here with like, throw me some holy water uh-huh. and some We're crosses a... and oh my God. some swords. I and... rebuke us. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with us? Please don't judge us, people. <laughs> uh... oh, I don't know. I. You know what? Honestly, though, I... I would honestly at this point take any role. I'm not going to lie to you. but I don't like Funny play. enough. I actually, 2.3% of people said they just want to be in a drama. Play something simple and be an extra. Oh, yeah. an extra. Not, uh. n- just be there and get paid and don't do really much. I don't know about an extra, but I'll take anything that has that talk. You know what I mean? Listen, we all got to start somewhere. Oh, <laughs> no, of course. Of course. I When I was younger... Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I always wanted to be the princess in the Disney yep. movies, mm-hmm. but I definitely changed. I think it was one of my productions that I did for um, uh, theater. Mm-hmm. God, was I in fifth grade or sixth grade? I played the wicked stepmother in Cinderella. Oh, I loved it, but See? it was the most nerve wracking debut because um, the way that my th- the, the theater that we were going to because it was a it was a summer camp with kids mm. and like the summer camp we learned we were casted and then we learned the parts and like our whole production mm-hmm. had to come together to do it i was cast as the wicked stepmother i had to open the show 
So like my line was the first line of the show. So it's like lights out. Um, I started. It was the most nerve wracking thing in my entire career. So since it was so nerve wracking and it was your first production ever, there's no doubt in my mind that you don't not remember. I don't. <laughs> really? I don't, I don't remember my oh, first I was, line. I was going to ask you to do it. But course. it was something <laughs> along the lines of come along girls because I had my wicked stuff uh-huh. sisters for Cinderella. I think it was something like come along girls we're going to be later. It's like it was one of those like because we're we're not even on stage. We're uh-huh. off stage and we throw ourselves through the curtains and we stomp on stage. Did you? Wow. In our dresses. Did you have a like had to put on like a voice like a come along girls <laughs> like or something like that? I think That's I was part asked of, part to. Of the acting, I think right? I was asked to uh-huh. but I, I don't remember if I actually pulled it off. Mm. How old how old were you here? Like I said fifth, sixth grade because uh, right, it was like a summer just... camp thing. Um, ah, see at, uh-huh. Like you know those for like two to three months mm. during vacation, like we would go to the theater like every day. Uh, we would practice. We had like our actual classes, and then we would practice for the roles. And then it would fun. actually, yeah, it was all, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I want to um, try that. But yeah, I was in a school production too. What would you play? As as a part of the o- o- orchestra. Oh, <gasps> I was the guitarist there, classic guitar. Wow. Oh, so you're part of the music part. Yeah, music part. Not oh. the not the uh acting he was in the part. Pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He was in the pit. I think all of us, all of us have done that. I did um Little Shop of Horrors <laughs> in uh middle high school. Really? In Korea. Can you imagine? Oh wow. So you acted in Korean? No, 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 no. It was uh. in English, please. <laughs> I didn't speak any Korean back then. <laughs> in junior high, we one of my other classmates, we were also cast in uh, the high school production team's version of Oklahoma the musical. Oh. So it was so cool because we were junior high and we got to get a chance to skip class because we had to practice with the high school kids. It was so Oh my fun. gosh. It's so you're so different. <laughs> but you know, back then though, when you're in middle school, that's like bragging rights. And, oh, that is the biggest bragging rights. It's like, oh, I have practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sorry, my young friends, people. Like my, all, right, my, all right. my classmates and my friends are in class and mm. then I'm just like... <laughs> You're still privileged. <laughs> so I am the one who's privileged. Oh, I you pleb. I, I get to leave class when the when nobody's in the mm-hmm. hallway. Nobody's in the hallway, and oh, I'm the only one that leaves class. Yeah, that feels amazing. And your 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 hoodie's all pudding. Yeah. You're like, yeah, and what? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't need a I don't up. need a hall pass. Hall pass, please. Tabichi's on the track with Kuna. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, Just Hug Me is our last track for today. We're overtime. These two troublemakers are going to be back next week, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.